At the beginning of the semester, we learned about one of the, one of the six pillars of calculus, the idea that what goes up has to stop before coming down. Now that we've learned about derivatives, we can make this a bit more precise. So let's suppose we've got a function, f of x is a function, and it's got a local maximum. And it's got a local maximum at a spot, x equals c. That's where it reaches the, to the top of the arc. At that point, either the derivative is 0 or the derivative doesn't exist. And the exact same thing goes for local minimum. At the bottom of the arc, arc, either the derivative is 0 or the derivative doesn't exist. So let's see why that is. Let's imagine that we've got a function. We've got a function here. And somewhere in the middle, actually around there, is a spot where we have a local maximum. Let's try to compute the derivative. So, by definition, the derivative is a limit. And for that limit to exist, it has to exist from the right, and it also has to exist from the left. But f of c is a local maximum. All of the points nearby have function values that are less than or equal to f of c. So, if x is bigger than c, this is the limit of negative things, because f of x is less than f of c, divided by positive numbers. And the limit of negative or positive negative numbers can't be positive. It can be 0. You can get have negative numbers that get closer and closer and closer to 0, but it can't be positive. On the other hand, on the other side, f of x minus f of c, still negative, but if x is less than c, then x minus c is also negative. Negative divided by negative is positive, so the limit has to be positive. So if the limit exists, the limit has to be less than or equal to 0, and it has to be greater or equal to 0. What's the only way for something to be less than or equal to 0 and greater or equal to 0? It has to be 0. So. If f prime of c exists, then f prime of c is 0. Now, it might not exist. You can have a local maximum at a point where, where uh, it hits a corner. There's no derivative here. That's fine. You can have a situation where a function is even discontinuous. There's a local maximum, but there's no derivative. But what you can't have is a derivative that's positive or a derivative that's negative. If a derivative exists, it's got to be zero.